Hey everyone, and today we are reviewing this microphone right here. This is the Mauno PD400X, and every time I see the name, I kind of want to say Maono, but this is actually a great sounding microphone, and it's for people who want to record sort of studio quality audio for if you're doing a podcast or if you're filming a YouTube video like this, or I guess even if you wanted to do gaming, maybe you're a streamer, then this is a really good option actually. So this is a $150 microphone and honestly from my testing, I can say it actually sounds really decent like compared to some of my Rode microphones and compared to a lot of other microphones I've tested on this channel. This is a really, really nice sounding microphone and it also is really premium in terms of the unboxing experience and just the quality of the materials and the way this microphone is built is really, really nice for your money. The whole thing is just really solid. It's metal. You have this base plate which attaches to the microphone. Now, I'm not like a massive fan of the base plate because it's too low on the desk so you have to kind of hunch down in order to speak into the microphone because you're going to want to get pretty close. This isn't a microphone which is good at distance so if I get further away you can see it's definitely getting a lot worse and weaker and a lot more echoey. So it's definitely a microphone you want in your face and so I've got it mounted on this sort of boom pole right here. And this microphone actually has a screw mount on the bottom which is compatible with pretty much most universal microphone stands or microphone mounts. So it should be compatible with any 3 8 or 5 8 screw threads. And I've actually just got it mounted right on here which is usually where I have my, my shotgun microphone which is sort of out of frame. But considering I'm showing it off I kind of wanted it in frame just so you can actually see how it looks and how close I am to it. So on the microphone right now I've got this windscreen just because I want it to kind of dampen some of the sharper sounds because I'm pretty close to it. So if I'm saying the letter T, like t -t -t, sometimes it can peak, it can just be a little bit too loud and so this kind of softens it a little bit. And yeah, I'm trying it with this on and now I'm going to remove it so you can hear how it sounds without it. So now I've removed it, this is how it sounds without the windscreen cover. So in terms of the outputs on this microphone, you have USB-C as well as XLR. So I use XLR for a lot of my shotgun microphones and so I have a handy recorder which is the Zoom H4n. So I basically just go ahead and plug this microphone in, it's actually plugged into both right now. So you can actually do that, you can record USB-C to your computer and you can record to your interface through XLR. I think that's a pretty nice feature. And I'm actually live listening through my Bose headphones to how this microphone sounds so I can actually hear my own voice right now. So I've got it connected through my Zoom H4n but there's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the bottom and that actually allows you to live listen and monitor your audio directly through the microphone so you don't actually need an interface whatsoever. You could just go ahead and buy this, plug it into your computer and you're good to go. You have a microphone that works without the need of an interface. So once you've connected this microphone through USB-C, there's actually a piece of software you can download called Mauno Link, and that allows you to change some of the settings of this microphone. So you can enable a high pass filter and you can change the gain and there's a, a bunch of different controls, which is really nice. So you can actually just do that straight up from your computer without messing with the microphone. But what's really nice is on the bottom, there is a toggle button. So you can actually go ahead and change some of those things. So there is a high pass filter built in. So if we look at the bottom, the standard mode, which is the first indicator light is flat mode. So that's what I'm recording in right now. If you press the button once, it will go into the middle light and that will be your high pass filter enabled. So right now, this is with the high pass enabled. And then the third option is your presence boost. So this is how it sounds with the present boost option turned on. And then clicking that button one more time will enable the high pass as well as the presence boost. But I'm just gonna go back to the standard flat mode. Honestly, I personally just kinda like how the microphone sounds straight up without messing with any of these settings. But another control you have on the microphone is this gain knob right here. And this is actually a smart knob, so there's three different modes. So when you first turn the knob, it's gonna adjust your gain of your microphone, kind of how you would expect. But then if you click it, it will then allow you to change the volume of your headphones. So when you're listening back to yourself, you can go and tweak how loud it is. And then click the button again, and this knob will actually allow you to change 
how much computer audio is coming through versus the monitoring audio of listening to yourself talk. So maybe if you're playing a game, you don't want to hear yourself talk. You just want to hear the game audio. And so you can click that button. You can crank it all the way. So you just hear the game audio and not your own voice. Just above that gain knob, there's actually a logo, which is a microphone logo that will be green when you're unmuted and then it's touch capacitive. So you just go ahead and tap it and then it will go ahead and mute your audio. I've accidentally done this a couple of times. It's really easy to knock. So make sure that light is green before you go ahead and record your audio. Otherwise, you're going to be super disappointed. So now let me just show you the difference in how this sounds when you're recording through USB-C versus XLR. So this whole video has actually been recorded through both. And so now I'm speaking through the XLR input and now we're going to switch over. And now this is USB-C. So I don't really know if there's any difference. There really shouldn't be, but XLR to me is a higher standard of recording and it's going to have better quality. But USB-C is also good, of course. I just personally think XLR will sound a little bit better, but I could be wrong. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. What sounds better, USB-C or XLR? But yeah, I'm absolutely enjoying this microphone so much. Something I did find a little bit strange is all the controls are sort of upside down. So all of the icons are just the wrong way. And I think that's because they're expecting you to mount it on an arm like this. So it's going to be from above upside down rather than actually using the included stand. So let me know down in the comments section what you actually think of the audio quality. I personally think it's pretty good, especially for $150. There's really not a lot out there in terms of sort of desk microphones that would sound this good. Obviously, you've got like the Blue Yeti and you have some microphones made by Shure. It's kind of a little bit like the Shure SM7B. A lot of people use that for podcasts. I believe Joe Rogan does. And so, yeah, I like the, the build. I like the look. I like the audio quality. It sounds good to me. I love USB-C being in this microphone and all the controls. Personally, yeah, this is definitely, this is like a 10 out of 10. I like this microphone a lot. So if you're looking for a good microphone to do podcasts on or just to really do anything professional in terms of talking, I, I don't really know how it's going to perform in terms of if you're playing instruments. I don't really know. Here's the pickup pattern. I'll just put it on the screen here so you can see. Um, but yeah, it sounds good to me. I'm no audiophile by any means, but if you're looking for a decent price microphone with great build quality, great functionality, all the included premium cables, then yeah, this is a really good microphone. The, the Mauno PD 400 X. I always want to say Mauno. I still, it's just, I don't know why, but I think it's Mauno. Maybe it is Mauno, but, um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you later. Peace.